Hello, Hoppers! It's me, Vicky, me love Bono, here on YouTube. Welcome to the March edition of the YouTube Layout Hop. I bet you're saying to yourself, how in the world did this hop ever start? Well, it was, it started out with my buddy, Zoe, who is AF0093 here on YouTube. She was sitting around thinking last year, gosh, we do minis and altered art and home deck, but what the heck happened to the good old-fashioned scrapbook layout? And you know what she did? She decided to do a hop here on YouTube. It's genius. Everybody was hopping on the blogs, but to my knowledge, there wasn't any blog hopping here on YouTube. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but she decided to put this together. Now, with the help of her assistant and bestie, who is Nancy, and you can find Nancy at Scrapping601, and all their links will be below, Every month, they put together this awesome event. A bunch of us, we get together, we do some layouts. It can be a 12 by 12 or a 12 by 24. Especially for this event and especially for you guys. And we put all the links together so that you can hippity hop right through all of the people who have put together a layout for the YouTube layout hop. We also have a Facebook page now. You should join. Anyway, I'll leave all those links below. Be sure, it would be nice if you subscribe to all of the participants. Especially if you like layouts, because they'll probably do more layouts and you'll want to see them. But even if you don't des describe, I started to say, even if you don't describe us, uh, even if you don't subscribe to the participants, you do want to make sure that you subscribe to Zoe AF0093 or Nancy Scrapping, that's just how it spell it like it sounds, Scrapping601, subscribe to them because even though the participants may change every month, those gals will always be here. They run the show. Now, guess what else happens every month on the YouTube Layout Hop? They give free prizes away. Yeah, but you gotta win them. So, here's how you win them. You have to leave a comment on every participant's comment page. So, while you're sitting there watching the video, Type something nice. You could say something like, Dear Vicky, I loved your video best. <laughs> I'm bad. Or you could even say, Dear Zoe, Me love Bono's layout was the best of all. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Listen, leave us any kind of comment. It'd be nice if you leave us a nice comment. Just leave us a comment. Make sure that you hop through everybody's page and you leave everybody a comment. Then what happens, your name gets thrown into a hopper. That was quote marks. And then Nancy and Zoe will pick out some names and you could win a prize. I mean, how easy is that? Your fingers might be a little tired from typing in a message, but who cares? We're scrappers. We're crafters. We like tired fingers. This month, uh, listen, every month, we have the most generous sponsors. And I'm sure that our sponsors this month are going to want to be generous because they're not going to want to be the only sponsors in a whole year that haven't been generous. This month, 
our sponsors are Drew Scott, who is card of my eye. And I actually subscribe to Drew. Have you ever seen some of the layouts that kid does? Amazing. Okay? I think he's my long-lost son. Not that I do amazing layouts, but he's just a cutie pie. And he actually has a store. Yeah. And it's called ScrappyHappiness.com. He's donated some nice little prizes for you guys. Then we have... Nilani, and I'm probably not saying that right. That's Lily Aguilar. You can find her at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash N I L I A N N Y. So, even if you don't win, don't be a sore loser. Why don't you go over, give their shops a look see? You might find a good deal. I bet you will. And these people, I know this for sure, Drew and Lily are not just stores. They're scrappers. They're crafters. So, go see what they have. Heck, maybe you'll win. Okay, so this month, our theme was Easter and Spring. I bet you can't figure this out, but I went with the Easter theme. Yes, indeedy. Every year since my little grandson's been born, and, well, no, I just lie. Not every year because, like, he was born in August, so, like, that following Easter, he was, like, five months old or something. He didn't hunt for eggs then. But since my little grandson has been about two years old, we hold a wonderful egg hunt here at our house the weekend before Easter. We have all the grandkids down. I mean, you know, it sounds like we're the Waltons. We're not. We have three grandsons. And then, but those grandsons have parents. And that was our kids. And so uh, the parents, they know people who have kids. So we have them all down and we hide eggs for the little boogers. Okay, so the picture that I'm, or the layout I did, are pictures from our 2010. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it 2010? Yes. See, that's why you write the dates on all your layouts. You'll forget. 2010 Easter egg hunt. And as you can see, I've been zoomed in, so you had something to look at where I rambled. You can see there that this is called... Momo's annual egg hunt. Easter egg hunt. Now, I'm going to show you the layout, and then I'll go back and tell you what I used and so forth. I did a double page layout. I don't want to talk while I'm showing you the page because when I talk, I talk with my hands and since the uh, my camcorder's in my hands, you know what will happen. So I'm trying to not shake while I show you things. Okay guys, now let me tell you about some of the products that I used. The background paper, which is... <sighs> craft cardstock with a yellow tint to it with big round polka dots. It is from the Die Cuts with a View Playtime Stack. Remember that stack that uh, DCWV did and it was like all different types of prints and pattern on craft cardstock? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, the butterflies over here those butterflies are cut from the Miss Caroline Dolled Up collection. My wood planks, which are around the kids up there, over here, down here, and over here. 
those items come from the Dilly Dally collection. See the chicky and the bunny? I paper pieced them onto the Echo Park soda fountain collection of dots and stripes. See the little bunny over there? See Mama up here? I just thought that little chicky, after I paper pieced it and was laying it on my paper, moving it around, I just thought, oh my gosh, it looks like he's looking right up at my step-grandson. Like, are you my mama? Anyway, I stamped the word mama with one of those uh, sets from Michael's. Remember when they had like all the alphabets and they're on like a little pencil thing, a little stick, and they were a dollar? That's what I used. Now, we almost just had a catastrophe uh, because my tripod fell. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I used a dollar stamp for the mama. The font here, mama, and the rest of the words there is a combination of the lawn fawn, Jesse's alphabet, Inka Dinka Do, Chelsea's alphabet, and the word annual. I do not know where the heck I got that stamp at. Now, I cut my eggs out with my Cricut Expression, and they came from the Country Life cartridge. And if you have that cartridge, if you look in there, there's a die cut of a bottle of milk with an egg by it. And I just pulled that die cut into my Gypsy, and I hid the bottle of milk and just cut out the eggs. They go from a size one and a half egg to a two and a half inch egg. And guys, I don't know what paper that is. That was something in my scrap stash from years ago. As you can see, I just got some of that uh, Easter grass and tucked in there. And let me tell you, that stuff isn't going anywhere because I used Beacon's 3-in-1 craft glue to keep it in. Now, I wanted this to look like a little, hmm, like wood shed or something. So, I'm going to show you in a minute because this right here is actually three-dimensional. So, in a second, uh, I'll show you the edge of that. The breads that look like screws or nails, those came from Recollections. I think that just about explains everything. You'll see I stamped the kid's name beside their pictures. That's Miley and that's Violet. Oh, the stamps that I used for the flower for the little chickies and for Mr. Rabbit over there are from the Sandy Lion Easter and Spring stamp set. And it just worked out perfect for this layout. You'll notice I actually cut the kids' pictures out. This was one picture, but I blew it up on my Kodak printer, and then I cut them out like the silhouettes of the kids. I don't do that often. Remember back in the day when we always did that with our photographs? I don't do that often. I think most of the time it looks cheesy, but in this case, I thought it was just right. Now hang on and let me show you how the this is actually three-dimensional. 
Okay. Alrighty, here you can kind of see a little bit better how I really have that fence or gate. I don't know what I'm thinking it is, but popped out with three dimensionals. And I actually used a couple. Whoa! Can you see there? Now, to get this effect that I have around the fence, I just kind of cut that one piece of the Miss Carolina wood look paper and you can kind of see here the detail. I just cut up and down, made it kind of rickety like a fence would be. I tried to cut toward the areas where it looked like there's little nail holes and knots in the wood. And then I ran my Sharpie black marker around the edge of the paper. And I'll tell you, I was nervous to do that, but I think it made all the difference in the world. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with this layout. It was fun to do, because I really like to do something a little special for these hops. If you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of me. If you've stayed on track, you're going to be leaving my channel and going to Shannon's channel. Shannon is Purple Lion Paper. And I'm going to leave all the links that you'll ever need down below, guys. Thanks so, 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 so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate Easter. And if you don't, I hope your spring and summer is fantastic. God bless and thanks for stopping by. See you soon.